You hardly touched your dinner. You want some more? No, thank you, Ming. I'm stuffed. Okay. Well, maybe we can go and work off some of this dinner by taking a dip. What time is it? It's about 8.30. I can't. I have to hit the books. Yeah, I have to do my homework, too. Oh, you guys are such party poopers. I know just the thing to loosen you up. French wine I saved from Dusty's birthday party? <clears throat> well, no thank you on the wine, Meg, but I'd like to refill on my milk. Okay. I think maybe you should stay, man. I can help you get over that fear of lightning. Just like I helped you with the wind. Remember how I got over my fear of lightning? I think we should go. But it's raining cats and dogs out there. Why don't you just stay? I can give you a ride home when she gets back. As long as I'm with Dusty, I'm okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Oh, you need to You have to go quickly because it's ready. All right. Thanks, sir. Go. Bye. Losing your touch. And what about you, huh? Practically on your hands and knees, begging for another drive. Oh, and oh. Old dice. I was just trying to get Dusty alone so you and Lily could be alone. Come on. Hey, you know, if we're not careful, we're going to lose everything we've been working for with those two. They're getting awful close. Summer's almost here. So? So I'm going to give Miss Lily some lessons she'll never forget. What does that mean? You just take care of Dusty, okay? And leave Miss Lily to me. Surprise! Oh. <laughs> Where have oh. you been? <laughs> I've been trying to find you. I went to mm -hmm. Allen's. I went to home. Mm -hmm. I only came here as a last resort. Yeah, well, I had a lot of last minute work mm -hmm. to do for Greg. What are you grinning about? You've been taking too much of this medicine from your arm? No. No? You've been drinking? No. Mm -hmm. Have you? Yes. Yeah, you I have, have some champagne to celebrate Roy and Heather's engagement. Oh, 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 here, I thought you were slaving away. Yeah, she's asked me to be a bridesmaid, and they've even asked you to be an usher. Can you believe it? No, well, absolutely <laughs> not, unless they ply me with champagne, too. <laughs> Well, what's going on? When I talked to you at the Snyder's, you sounded so depressed. What gives? Well, Mike called me up. He wants to have his job back as foreman. He learned the hard way that Channing can't be trusted. What does that mean? Well, that means that uh, he called, Channing called Mike up, said he didn't want him as his foreman. And I think that my luck is, uh, has started to change. Well, it's about time. Yeah. I tell you, I think that Channing's given up his vendetta against Antropolis construction. Mm, maybe he's not the villain you thought he was. From what I've seen, the guy's rotten to the core. Well, why didn't he hire Mike? Um, I don't know. I figured that the guy's a shrewd businessman. I mean, uh, ultimately, his conscience is ruled by the bottom line. And it was just costing him too much to uh, keep hiring my men away from me and underbidding me. And I think maybe he finally realized that... Uh, I was not coming back to you. Mm -hmm. Alex, what's the matter with you? You're feeling yeah, like a bird in there tonight. What is it? What is it? I wasn't the only bird in there. Did you see Ted? Did you see Ted Channing looking a little bit like a vulture getting ready to swoop down? It sort of killed my appetite. I, I hope you didn't want dessert or anything. I own this place. I'm sick of the dessert here. Besides, your ex-boyfriend wasn't the only weird one. Didn't you see Tony O'Reilly's with evil eye for me? You look handsome. Oh, can't tell you how good it's going to feel to get into jeans and a t-shirt tomorrow morning. <laughs> I bet. Listen, uh, why don't you wait for me up in the office while your brother and I do the books? All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I, I think we should do the exterior in mirrored glass. Pink marble for my complexion. Pink, pink. Well, pink That's that what I want. Is it? Oh, no. Oh, Lighting. You know, I have a brilliant idea tomorrow when the countryside is all wiped clean by the storm. Let's go riding, all right? Uh, wait, did Dr. Dixon say you could do that? Dr. Dixon said I can do whatever I want so long as it's not too ridiculous. <laughs> like eight o'clock. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'll be there. I'll ask Lily. Maybe she'll join us and we'll be a threesome. Good night. Good night, Greg. I hope you enjoyed your dinner. We did. We sent our compliments to the show. Oh, I'm sure you did. Uh, excuse me, I'm getting my, my coat. Yes? 
I didn't appreciate your running to Sierra behind my back. Well, I don't appreciate being threatened. And I thought she had a right to know. Well, perhaps if you're man enough, next time you could speak to me to my face. How are you? Hi, hi and bye. Great. We're running out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, look, I tell you what, talk to Betsy and uh, let's get together again sometime soon, okay? All right. All okay. right? Terrific. Hi, I want to thank you for changing your mind about uh, hiring Mike away from me. No need. I got a better man for a better price. What were you doing in Channing's hotel room? I'll tell you tomorrow at work. I think you're out of your mind. You know the guy who's I'll gotten that piece of I'll talk to you later. Tell me again, why did you give Andropolis back his phone? Oh, I found another way to deal with Steve Andropolis. No! A much more pleasant way.